Hi student, today I am going to teach chapter 2, force and pressure. From chapter 2, students we will be able to understand pressure, force and its effect. Pressure and its uses. First one, what is mean by force? For example, when you are coming to school, you can observe some of them rest, some of them moving. Observe the following action in day to day life. For example, opening a pen cap, opening a door, kicking a football, push the box, pull the door. All of this action need some external effort. That external effort is called as push or pull. So, pushes and pull are form of force. Pushes, push and pull are form of force. One more example, when the body is at rest, they start moving or already moving body comes to rest. All Already moving body speed changes either increase or decreases or direction of the body changes. A question arises in our mind why the object direction changes this to motion. Why already moving object comes to rest? Why the speed of the object either increase or decrease? Why the speed of the object decreases why the direction of the object changes. One answer for all the above question is force. A body need push or pull to move or bring to rest or changes direction or changes the speed increase or decrease. So finally push or pull is called as Force. What is meant by force? Force is an external effort. That is external effort means in the form of push or pull, which is produced to changes the state, rest to motion. Changes the moving body comes to rest. Changes the speed increase or decrease. Changes the direction of force. Next. Who is discovered by force? Force is discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. The assignment of force is Newton. The symbol represents N. S unit of force. Force is Newton. In symbol N. Force is a vector quantity. It is a vector quantity. So what is mean by vector? Vector means it has both magnitude and direction magnitude and direction 